So one last video before we walk away from function composition for a little bit is this. Uh, let's take f of x equals x minus 5 and g of x equals the square root of x. Let's find the two different compositions with, with x, not with plugging in a number, and let's see if we can find the domain for each of these guys. So starting with f of g of x, that means f of g of x, like this, which means, well, what is g of x? g of x is the square root of x. So what we're doing here is that we're really plugging one function into another. We're not doing the different evaluations. It's like the, the pure form with the x's. And so when I work this out, I'm replacing this x with that input value. And so this becomes, let's write it like this, it becomes the square root of x minus 5. Now before we talk about the domain for this, let's go ahead and find the other composition, g of f of x. So it means g of, yeah I know if you're paying attention I'm using different colors here. I'm not going to go back and redo this. You're going to be okay. It's my chaos, so I'm okay with it. So this is g of f of x is x minus 5 and so that's what I'm going to be plugging into g so g was the square root of x so I have the square root of in this case x minus 5 so these are the two different compositions right they're kind of similar yet they are decidedly different let's talk about the domain for each of these okay so when I look at the domain for this, I've got a square root, so I know there's a limitation here. And for the domain for this, we have to understand that this radicand has to be greater than or equal to zero, which means that my domain is going to be bracket zero to infinity. So this guy had already that limited domain, and you plug it in here, he's going to keep that limited domain. Uh, for this one, Okay, x minus 5 didn't have any restrictions on its domain. Um, his domain was all real numbers. But as soon as you put it inside here, now there are certain restrictions because it's inside of a square root. And so the domain for this one, we have to make sure that we keep this radicand, x minus 5, it must stay greater than or equal to 0. Which, when you solve this, means x is greater than or equal to positive 5, which means his domain is bracket, 5 to infinity. So again, different orders for the composition means that we have different functions at the end and also means we have different domains. So pay attention to this and watch out for it when you go to the homework. And uh, coming up, we're going to have a lot of fun with graphing.